Yes, my name is Ely Mays. Um, I've been a painter for uh, the decades of the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, uh, and the new millennium and to the new century. Uh, the painting uh, that I'm going to talk about is called Cleaning Up Picasso Studio. Um, I live right in the heart of Paris, and this is coincidental that right across the street is where Picasso's studio is located. Uh, where he painted the, his most famous painting, one of his most famous paintings called the Garnica. Um, but in the painting, Cleaning Up Picasso Studio, I, I give you kind of a twist, maybe kind of a Twilight Zone twist. You have a black matadoris uh, fighting an albino bull. I used to live in Mexico and as an artist there as well. I used to like bullfights myself. So um, it's called kind of like the arena. Uh, are you in the arena or you're not in the arena? So that's the uh, that's the gist of the painting called Cleaning Up uh, Picasso Studio, and uh, there's a whole series on that. But that this that's the that's the flagship of that series, Cleaning Up Picasso Studio. Thank you. Okay, when one looks at the painting, you see the uh, uh, the power of the albino bull, and uh, you see the the black matadoris. Uh, if you go to the corner, you see they kind of look like uh, uh, tribal uh, ornaments from uh, tribal, let's say, Africa. And they're laughing. It's kind of a comedy in all of it. Uh, since um, Picasso, uh, he, as he painted the Garnica, he painted with a lot of mask. And he didn't really give the credit where the credits were, uh, where it came from. Gertrude Stein... I'm very fortunate that I live in the heart of Paris, okay. and uh, actually Gertrude Stein lived uh, on number five, Rue Christine. I live in number six, right across the street. Uh, and if you see the uh, the lines, uh, another aspect of the lines, it could be something which is very cosmic energy. You know, they say there's dark energy in the universe or what have you. Uh, they say that uh, uh, objects have souls to them. so. Uh, you see it might be a gallery, but then you see a lot of uh, little wigglies, lines, and that type of thing. And could it be like, well, we know where it came from. And if you look far to the, if you look far to the left, you see uh, a little uh, a statuette, a little black statuette. She's forging a mask with a hammer, okay? It's kind of where there's a crucifixion there and where there's a tilted over easel. So, uh, and you see that the buckets, uh, the, the blue bucket of paint, which is tipped over. Uh, so, you know, uh, it's what it is. Uh, it, it becomes a narrative within and of itself and something very spiritual about it. So thank you.